right, here's another another ride I'm gonna show you guys. It's it's a Chevy two. It's a four door more door, but it's it's all original. It's been pretty much inside of a barn since it's had its wreck, and uh, the wreck was a uh, happened on a on a street downtown that uh, the old lady was driving it that owned it. Very low mileage back then, and it still is. It's, it's actually never been fixed, but uh, the actual car. Ran a stop, stop sign, stoplight, whatever it was back then. And uh, she ran over the curb and hit, either hit a fence post or a, a light post or the side of a boot shop. I never could really get the story on, on actually what happened. But uh, I'll give you a walk around first and then I'll give you the, the surprise video on the inside. So stick around. Chevy 2. 1964 model. Pretty much your basic car back in the day. And come around on this side. It's got the back door, front, front passenger side door. But it's got this little booger right here. This is where she hit. Hit something back in the day. It, it had to have been back in the either early or mid 70s is when, when it happened. But, uh, I don't think it really did too much to the subframe. It's never been really fixed. They put the, the used fender on it from another Chevy 2 back in the day. Looked like it had a had a V6, but this one came with a, a V8, 283, and uh, it even has the air conditioner set up back then. And it's, it's been running a little bit just to move it around, but as far as back on the street, it's, it's never hit the pavement again. We'll come back around to the side of it. West Texas dirt, man. Come back around to the driver's side. No gas filler. All original white paint. Which a lot of these were back then. It's either white or turquoise. I haven't really seen any red or black ones. Check out the front. And I'll give you the surprise tour on the inside. Look how clean that is. Brand new. It's like sitting back in time. There's the air conditioner control. Never been turned on that many times. The seat's brand new, pretty much. Back seat. Headliner, perfect. Steering wheel, it's got the little center cap missing. Original carpet. There's the headlight bezels. That's the door, door panel. Yeah, seems like this was locked for some reason. Let me go around on the passenger side. There it goes. Door panel. Four hundred, it says. Quick view. Got the sun visors in perfect condition. Nova Chevy 2. Got 
with the Motai Chevrolet Radio. These don't have spits. I, I don't know if they have them somewhere else, but the little factory little radio in the uh, light with the glove box. These might even been her gloves back in the day. Got a whisk off. It's all it's all factory. If this was a two door, it wouldn't have been in this great condition. Shut solid. Yeah, if I had the had the money, if it was mine, I'd take that 283 out and put an LS motor in it. Be a daily daily cruiser. It's a five lug. This is Nova Chevy two on the fender. what year these are old these are old inspection stickers I don't know if it has a license plate on it or not no Rebel Nash I don't even know what's in the trunk we have to see if we can open up the trunk Found the license plate. 76 was the last time it was put on the road. That's pretty pretty awesome, man. 11,879 miles. Not too bad. Never been smoked yet. Look at that. Time capsule. Couldn't find the keys. Pretty much a brand new inside unit. 